Welcome to NTN Nightly. I am Janelle Novel. This edition stops stories. St. Lucia Distillers displays confidence in the economy with a $30 million expansion project. The Unthink Thought Festival examines the applied theories of Sir Arthur Lewis and meet the winners of the World Forest and Water Day competition. Prime Minister the Honourable Alan Shastney has hailed a multi-million dollar expansion project by St. Lucia Distillers as a clear indication of the resilience of the local private sector and the island by extension. Speaking at the official opening ceremony of the new facility, Prime Minister the Honourable Alan Shastney stated that the occasion offered an opportunity to take a pause and reflect on the impact of COVID-19, not just on a personal level, but on the business community and the country. Noting the positive strides taken since the pandemic, the Prime Minister indicated that one should look forward to the future with optimism. Honorable Shastney welcomed the U.S. $30 million expansion, describing the project as appealing. The journey started many years before I know, Mr. Yacht, that you came to St. Lucia. But we're very happy that you've decided in 2016 to make St. Lucia part of your history. And I want to thank you personally that despite what was going on with COVID and the clear reflection that many people must make in terms of, do I continue to invest? Do I continue to achieve the levels of excellence that I saw in your facilities in Martinique and continue that journey here in St. Lucia? And I want you to know that I'm certainly not one person. I am one person who does not take your commitment and your continu continuation for granted. And I want to thank you very, very much. Noting the timeliness of the project, the Prime Minister explained its impact across the sectors. He added that given the direction in which the country is moving, there are significant benefits to be had. This project is special for St. Lucia because it crosses three very important sectors. Agro-processing, and I know that we're starting to plant back some sugarcane, and that's a very good sign manufacturing in terms of processing, and then tourism. And then underlying those three things are two very separate markets. Our domestic market and what we call OECS and CARICOM, as well as the international market and our tourism market. And this is our journey. This is what St. Lucia has recognized that in order for us to reach the economies of scale, to succeed on a global basis, we must blend those three components. Honorable Shastney announced plans to take advantage of the waste from the distilling process. This, he said, will benefit not just the company, but the island as a whole. And I have recognized that there is a substantial part of your input that is going to waste. And that is the energy that you're creating from the distilling process to begin with. I was very heartened to see that Barbados recently announced that it had reached an agreement with its electricity company, that that electricity company now will be focusing on the distribution of electricity and no longer on the production of electricity. What does that mean for manufacturers? So all of a sudden, an output of your manufacturing process that is going to waste, not only potentially can supply the energy for your plant, but also to be able to supply a cheaper source of energy into our own network. And until we're able to cross that hurdle, we genuinely will not be successful to the extent that we are. So a valuable input is the energy that is locally produced here, and it needs to be part of your process. And I assure you, sir, that my government continues to work to make sure that we can follow suit with what's taken place in Barbados. And hopefully very soon you will also be able to now benefit from being able to provide your own energy as well as selling energy into our grid. Other manufacturers and plant operators will also be able to benefit from this initiative. The legislation to support the move the Prime Minister explained is underway. 
Prime Minister the Honorable Alan Chastney reaffirmed the government's commitment to creating a facilitating environment where all sectors are able to thrive. The life and work of Sir Arthur Lewis is being celebrated by the institution named after St. Lucia's first Nobel laureate. Sir Arthur Lewis received the Nobel Prize for Economics in 1979. On Tuesday, 15th June, the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College hosted what it dubbed the Unthink Thought Festival, which discussed the economic theories posited by Sir Arthur Lewis. Hermody Mark reports. The Sir Arthur Lewis Community College successfully hosted the Unthink Festival on 15th June 2021. The Thought Festival aimed to promote regionalism and global competitiveness in the Caribbean. The Unthink Festival was held in commemoration of the 30th anniversary of the passing of Sir Arthur Lewis. The virtual event consisted of a series of panel discussions, including an open session which focused on Caribbean futures. So the key point is that to encourage the region to think forward, but also for developing countries as a whole. That's what the pandemic tells us that we need to do now. And that's why we constructed the idea of the Unthink Thought Festival. We've brought together a stellar cast of thought leaders from around the world and from within the region. And we are hoping that the audience will be delighted by their key provocations today. One topic of particular importance discussed by the presenters was the significance of regional integration to the growth of the Caribbean nations. Professor Avinash Pasad, chairman of the CARICOM Commission on the Economy, highlighted a shift in the regional development over the years. Back in um, Sir Arthur's day, um, we were the fastest growing region. Uh, developmentally one of the most successful uh, in the 1960s, 70s, and 80s. Um, and then something happened. Then we seemed to get stuck. Now we are one of the slowest growing regions in the world. And all the consequences that lead from slow growth. We've become, as a result of slow growth, um, one of the highest indebted regions in the world. Highly indebted, slow growing, we are giving up many of the gains and social economic gains and development gains that we had made uh, earlier. Jonathan Joannes is the managing director of First National Bank. He encouraged participation among countries to attain regional growth. I think if we take the time out to realize how powerful collaboration is as opposed to competition, we will see how the sharing of best practices makes each country each bank, each business, each citizen, a lot better and a lot stronger. The sharing of assets to benefit all, knowledge transfer, and forming consortia where we can. I know we have this deep yearning to remain independent and to maintain our identity. And believe you me, the journey to form the consortia to acquire RBC was fraught with this idea of remaining indigenous and keeping our own unique identities. But there are mechanisms that allow us to be independent and cooperate as though we are one. Other topics explored during the Sir Arthur Lewis Unthink Festival included climate action, fourth industrial revolution, creative futures, and youth and social entrepreneurship. From the Government Information Service, I'm Huma Dimak. Regional law enforcement is encouraging communities to establish neighborhood watch programs and parents to be more involved in their children's lives to reduce the potential for deviant behavior. This call to action came out of a regional community policing panel discussion hosted by the Royal St. Lucia Police Force from the GIS studios featuring virtual presentations from the Belize Police Department and Acting Inspector Roland Cobbler of the Royal Barbados Police Force. Referencing alarming rates of violence in schools across the Caribbean, Acting Inspector Cobbler explained the risk factors associated with deviant behavior among school-aged children. He suggests methods that parents can utilize in dealing with their children to avoid such outcomes. These include modeling the appropriate behavior each and every time. As I said before and I'll say it again, children limit what they see. Of course, observe children carefully for troubling behaviors. Once you 
pay attention to your children, then you will see when there are deviation from that expected behavior, and then you'll be able to identify troubling behaviors and try to give early interventions into situations as they arise. Of course, take an active role in your children's education, encourage them to go to school and learn, encourage them to desist from getting involved in violence or any activity that would disrupt them from getting a strong education. Get to know your children's friends and family. It's very important that we know as parents who our children are spending time with, the places they go and the company that they are keeping. And of course, you need to monitor and supervise our children. It's important that we monitor them and have an understanding of their internet use. Of course, you need to check their bedroom because there may be times where they'll be struggling with issues of bullying. But because we're not monitoring and supervised, they may take up a weapon from home and then hence, violence at school will occur. And of course, you also have to look for signs of, of other paraphilia, such as you know, the use of illegal drugs, and being constantly monitoring and supervising our children will play a critical role in reducing some of the delinquent and violent behavior experienced in our schools. At the community level, Inspector Zenubio Cook from the Belize Police Department illustrated the significance of a neighborhood watch group to deter crime and violence, enhance the quality of life, and improve relations among neighbors. Firstly, we want to recruit and organize as many neighbors as possible. We want to walk into the neighbors, in, into the neighborhood and organize. Let us schedule a meeting, very, very important. Also discuss community concern and develop an action plan. And again, whenever we have our meeting, those who are not privy to attend the meeting, they can actually get the information by way of um, being a part of the WhatsApp group and other means of communication. But definitely, it is very important to share this information. That was Inspector Zenubio Cook of the Belize Police Department. The Regional Community Policing Panel discussion is airing throughout this month for NTN and can also be viewed on the Government of St. Lucia Facebook page and YouTube channel. The Department of Forestry held a prize-giving ceremony for the winners of the World Forest and Water Day competition. The Facebook photo competition was held in conjunction with World Water Day and World Forest Day 2021 celebrations and formed part of an effort to raise awareness of the importance of protecting our natural resources. To qualify for the competition, persons were required to photograph themselves in an ecosystem and give a brief description of how it contributes to their life. Chief Forestry Officer Alwyn Donnelly highlighted the role these activities play in raising awareness of the increase in deforestation as well as contamination of our natural resources. He commended the participants on their involvement in safeguarding St. Lucia's ecosystems. The forest is not only there for our survival, you know, we don't exist in isolation of, you know, the, the, the wildlife, the other resources that depend on the forest. We all form that um, network, you know, where we depend on each other within that broader ecosystem. So the wildlife as well, you know, they depend, you know, on the forest. And sometimes when we destroy the forest, we destroy wildlife. And we also, um, ultimately, we would be destroying you know, ourselves. Director of the Water Resources Management Agency, Jason Ernest, encouraged the participants to continue their efforts in sensitizing the public on the importance of protecting our natural resources. I was just seeing you guys as being ambassadors. So for your households, um, for your family, friends, and for your communities to spread the message that we need to continue to protect our resource because it is very finite in St. Lucia. Um, it's limited, and we should be aware of that. We realize that uh, right now you see that there's a lot of indiscriminate dumping of, of waste and refuse into our water systems, and this is where our water supply comes from. So this is very critical that we, pro um, we protect it. And uh, World Forest Day and World Water Day is uh, two of the days where we can look to raise the awareness and 
sensitized persons as to the importance of, of what is going on. A first and second place winner was chosen from both the north and south of the island, resulting in four winners total. The winners of the World Forest and Water Day competition were awarded prizes that included Samsung tablets and cell phones sponsored by the South East Coast Project. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting. This is NTN Nightly. Up next, Primus Hutchinson with the NTN Nouvelle of the All. Point pour caution. Et fait tout ça ou ni pour faire pour sauver de l'eau. Laver bagay sale à dans un bassin de l'eau, pas quitter de l'eau à couille. Aussi, pas quitter de l'eau à couille, l'air ou ka tuer pan. Si toilet bol ou ka kole, ou ni pour mettre ten en di de bac là. Toilet bol là, ka coulé si ou ka wè coulé à de bol là avant ou flush li. Un toilet bol qui ka coulé ka gaspiller un chai glo. Servi un bon pito en rose pour laver moto ka. L'air ou ka laver had, servi de l'eau aussi hein pour user fleur. Le ou sauver de l'eau ou ka baisser manière ou ka servi tepe en main. Sauver de l'eau toutes les ou ni en chance et changer tout de l'eau est content. Ça c'est en commission Rodwasco. Welcome back. We join Primus Hutchinson for the NTN Nouvelle à Creole. Merci au temps, Janel. Merci madame département qui est responsable pour information en gouvernement celle-ci. GIS, à ce moment Télévision Nationale PIA, NTN, Capuzato, Nouvelle à Creole, Présato, Primus Hutchinson. Comme une guerre en Paris Babono, en Chimé, pour trouver une école première, nouveau, ça en Chimé des réalités comme la tenue en cérémonie, récemment, pour marcher officiellement, placement pour bâtir institution d'éducation neuf ça là. Le projet a coûté 7,5 millions de dollars à la finance du gouvernement de la et aussi la Banque des Affaires et Développement Caribla, CDB, qui a supporté la construction. La école neuf là pour les filles et les garçons, ça c'est l'école pour les filles et les garçons à la guerre, qui a une grande chambre à terre et qui a un haut gouillet qui a porté 4 chambres pour les son. Il a une bibliothèque, un laboratoire pour les études computer. Il y a une chambre pour le son de musique, et cette chambre a été comporté quatre séparations pour le son, il y a une chambre pour les étudiants posés, une chambre pour les instituteurs, ça veut dire les étudiants à l'école, et un bureau pour le principal de l'école là même. Là, il y a aussi une chambre pas en bas de l'école là, pour pouvoir vite faire un nom, une chambre pour les outils pour les gens qui vont se pour nettoyer l'école là. De où il y a une adresse pour le cérémonie, le premier ministre, le CI, on est à Alain Chasney, déclaré qu'il Uh, l'environnement qui m'a maïka existé présentement, c'est fort nécessaire pour yon ni toutes ces facilités qui sa aide yon pour faire progrès et kachile pour koyon même. Premier ministre Chasney ou en français, importance aussi pour les instituteurs ni capacitaires pour instruire ces étudiants en façon de direction des technologies. Excellent Premier ministre Chasney, c'est une situation qui kaye qu'on lave la main et soué à terre. Si ce teacher à l'école n'a pas de capacité et capacité de technologie pour instruire ces étudiants, ça va. Et c'est pour raison, ils ont tout déjà et qu'à recevoir étonnement à face à ça. Construction de l'école là, c'est un retard à résultat de cyclone Thomas qui a dévalisé plusieurs écoles du pays. Et par conséquent, finance qui était déjà en place pour bâtir l'école, tenu pour servir plutôt pour engager l'école, ça là. Ministre des Affaires et Éducation, on a Dr. Gil Rigobot dit que l'école de la guerre a une capacité pour pas seulement résister à force cyclone, mais aussi pour embrasser des grandes technologies qui ont amené ces jeunesses-là et puis toute capacité sévère pour prendre l'avantage de l'environnement de l'éducation qui existe présentement. Représentatif en Kai Parlement pour Paris Babono, on a Ezekiel Joseph, remercie ses parents en commun de la guerre pour des grandes patience qui ont été mais il aussi conseillé pour toujours supporter et engager en activité l'école là. Il m'a dit pour supporter ces instituteurs en façon pour aider ces programmes qui créent l'école là et pour faire un succès à tout clair. Greg, ça c'est Go Greg pour Company Construction and Industrial Equipment Limited qui a bâti l'école ça là, ça c'est Reno Kajada, fait comprendre que la, la pierre a posé un petit problème, mais pour tenir un huit ans, mais depuis tant, il 
Yo ka sa pou se vitès pou fini proje sa la alè. De lòt lekòl ka trouve benefis an ba pogram sa la pou ende ou renforse kapasite edikasyon se institisyon. Sa se Prudis Construction Services Limited si e kontwa pou bati yo cham nef a lekòl Methodist Gordon and Walcott Memorial ki ka kouti 6.5 milyon dola e Construction and Industrial Equipment Limited ka bati yon osi a lekòl premier Vid Boutey ki ka kouti 4.5 milyon dola. Le kiltivate embe fama peya ja trouve konsey pou fe asire yo etabli yon plas pou proteje podwi ki ja matwite avan yon siklon pase. Se chef ofisye di extension ki ka konsey yo pou fe sa. Se lo misye kamyoel je batis. Itu e nesese pou se fama proteje podwi embe dan we ki ja bon pou wekolte si la ni yon siklon. Chef ofisye di extension di ki se fama sa la sa wekolte se dan we ya ki ja matwite ek plase yo ade yon plas ki bien proteje ale sa la se podi a pa ka ipi wi si an ka yon siklon ek yo ka isa van ni apwe mouve tan pase. At lis i pa ka tobe ped an dlo ou pa ka ped li kazi kase kouise ba isa la sa ou sa fe se mete an storage si moun an ka van ba isa la sa achete i apwe sa bon si yo pa sa at lis ou sa van ni bo la plas ou sa ou sa van ni mete mi evek ache lot manye pou dispose of se podi a. M. Chebatis ka osi konseye fama le jim ki ka sevi Greenhouse pou pwen bon pou kosyon osi si an kayon siklon. Si la kayon ni siklon van, a si we dat ki ou pwen demash pou tie plastik la ke le Greenhouse la. Se Greenhouse la se an pawe sol. So depi van vini, e kay chaye, e se pa de chaye, e kay domaje an Greenhouse la. So sa pou fe espe, e kay pwen bon an editan, an be dimin editan pou tie plastik la sou yon Greenhouse. So sa ou sa fe koute byen evek le ou realize ba e ka vini chou ale ti we green house la. Ou kay di wa, mou kay ped dan we ya, me sou pa ti we green an plastik la. Ou kay ped plastik la, ou kay ped frim la, ou kay ped dan we ya, ou pitet ou an wis ped dan we ya. So pou green house farmers, dekouve se green house la. Pou lbot moun ki ni le gym an sa van. Bo sou ni irrigation equipment, particularly dri se drip line la ki che an chay. Ek ou ten la kay na chay la pli sou sa fe de mach ek ti we ya de se ling sa. Mwen sa vi difisil. Mi si ba isa ka kouta chay la jo, ka pa le abot sek sa goud de le preske mil lo la pon rol. Sou sa tiwe sa sa van nan, si ou ten la kayni, ou en son nan kote ko la kayni am floods, ou sa ou sa fe preparasyon. Mem sa pou fig, fe am asi ou ni bon kanal an sa van nou, se ba la ou ni ki sa prepare pou am pou wekolte, ou wekolte yo. Sou nan kote ou sa mete, ou sa ou sa mete, an kote ki fwe, ou sa mete nan, ou sou ni an cham ki ni air condition, se pa tel man famas ki ni sa, me la ni moun ki ni, O sou ni, sou sa kouye marketing board, because... Oui, ek si marketing board za asisto pou mete an storage, ou ka mete se ba isa storage, evek apwe ou ka y dil za fo. Ek se kosta nou atwa, bout programa, mese medan, mou ka y mese otan, pou ka gade, mou ka bwoyen invitasyon, pou jene pi mou anko si die, kos ke fe la vi, nan ka y pose to alot nouvel, anko yon la preza, mou ka fi y pose to, jene yon. Mesi yon pil primas. And that brings us to the end of NTN Nightly. Join us next time at 7 p.m. with a repeat at 7 a.m. You can also catch up with us anytime on the St. Lucia Government Facebook page or YouTube channel. I am Janelle Norville.